Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Wandering Village. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and we are hitting the road again. Here is Anbu. He's just woken up from a nap, and he's ready to continue on his path. Now, we are in a new desert. This is a different desert. It's very deserty, but still the same. And we're going to be heading towards another heat wave, which isn't a huge deal because we're not really growing anything other than cactus at the moment and some mushrooms. I mean, we are trying to get some herbs, but we'll see how that goes and hopefully find something else along our path. Now, Anbu did choose this direction because we didn't have the horn blower ready yet. We're researching it now. We started that in last episode and Anbu got to choose this because we weren't able to influence him anyway. Oh dear. All right. Now, we do have a new tab here. This is exploration. We have got the scavenger hut now. We need to build this along the edge because we're going to be sending off villagers to go and explore the map. I might put you up here. I don't normally do it. I feel like I normally do it on the south side, but we'll do it up here. And this is going to allow us to send villagers out to these points of interest because we could find all, courts of th all kinds of things here. Some desperate survivors or leftover food could be found there. You might find some iron ore over there, or wood, or mushrooms over there. Some water here. Ooh, who knows what we're going to find over here, but maybe some infested plants. Something sinister, perhaps. Ooh, and it looks like, after our heat wave, we're going to be finding some more nomads. Now, nomads, like we did say before, they could be hungry, which is fine, we could feed them. But they could also be poisoned, which means we are desperate to get our village doctor up and running. Now, it needs wood planks and stone slabs, and we are having a bit of trouble getting those things. And also, our herbalist, we, for the village doctor to be effective, he needs medicine, so we need these herbs. So, we need to get these things built. Now, I have high prioritized this. Now, unfortunately, they are working on this kitchen, so instead of having the things we need for there, they're going to the kitchen, but the kitchen's almost done, and then they can focus on this next. They're bringing things over here for the herbalist. So well done, Dal. Uh, thank you for bringing some stone over. That is what we need. So continue to harvest. We have kind of begged, borrowed, and sealed workers from all kind of the other places to ensure that we have extra workers. The maximum number here for harvesters, we can only have five in one worker post. And we've got three general workers who are going to be doing the building, but a lot of people just harvesting because there is tons to harvest. We've got all these trees when they have these cute little balloons on them. <laughs> Those balloons look like they're made of stone, to be honest. Uh, but when they have these balloons, it means we've marked them for harvesting. So then people will come and they will harvest the stone or the trees or the bushes, whatever it is that we have marked, or even the mushrooms. If we mark those, there we go. We can harvest some mushrooms and the people will come and they'll do it. Now, they are kind of funny in this game. They tend to go for the things that are the farthest away first. And I'm not really sure why that is. I guess they just like to work from the outside in, but yeah, they do. They will have to walk all the way down here, which does make me kind of want to build a path for them so they're, they're a little bit faster, but then they're going to be held up by building the path. It's going to be a whole thing. So I guess we'll just carry on for now. Now we've built extra tents, so we are definitely ready. When we do get more villagers, we won't be short of homes for them at the moment, which is very good news. I am getting a bit worried about Anbu's hunger. I was really hoping he would find something along the path that he could eat and he hasn't come across that yet. Maybe after these guys? I mean, there's always a couple of points of interest along the way. They're not necessarily evenly spread, but they are out here. Hopefully we'll find some food. Looks like there's something maybe right there. Oh, it's a crossroad. Okay, so we're coming up to a crossroad. I was just able to click on it just barely there. And that means that's another point where Anbu is either going to go this way or down this way. And our horn blower, I mean, it might be built in time, but not likely. Probably Anbu will be choosing his way again because we're not done researching it. And then once we research it, we still have to build it. And I imagine Anbu will get there before we're quite ready. But it's okay. For now, we have to trust in the Anbu. He can choose his direction and it should be absolutely fine. <laughs> All right, back on Anbu's back here. They're still kind of working away here. I mean, should I put someone... He's also not currently doing anything because he doesn't have the wood he needs. It is... A bit... I mean, he's not, we're not even going to be able to get the stone slabs because we've closed this off because he didn't have enough wood. Cancel. Don't deconstruct it. That would be quite bad. 
re-enable that weather. We're gonna have to steal another worker from somewhere. Do we take one of the harvesters? I mean, I just feel like we desperately need a harvest. Let's take a general worker. Maybe we just don't need so many people generally working? <laughs> I don't know. It's difficult to say. Now, on the food front, we've only got 15 berries out here. I mean, it would be really helpful if we could get this kitchen up and running because the berries, we can make, we can stretch them. We can make them go a bit further. So when we make some of our foods, we can actually make them, you know, three berries can suddenly turn into four meals somehow. It's quite the magical science there. Now, I can't remember if it's berries that is the magical one or if it's beets. It could possibly be beets and we're not currently growing those either. So we'll see. Oh, okay, looks like if he goes that way, he can have a little sleep spot. Don't know what's going down this way yet. Hopefully a spot to eat would be ideal. And then he, you know, chooses that direction. All right, we're back into another heat wave. We can't seem to catch a break from these heat waves, but it's probably fine. Oh, look, our herbalist is now constructed, so we could build some plots here for the herbalist to start growing. Now, I might unselect this. Don't gather that. That is a mother tree. We kind of want our mother tree. Oh, I mean, we could harvest it. Let's, well, let's leave it for now. They can harvest the rest of these. And then we need someone... Oh, it looks like someone's already going to come and work here. Fantastic. I didn't realize we had an empty extra worker. Ah, do you know what? We don't. It's this guy. I just need to enable that. The herbalist... It's far too hot, really, for the herbs to be growing. And we're a bit short on water. And it's kind of a whole thing. But we do need someone to come work here. I would hate to have to steal from one of our research buildings. But we might have to. Unless we... I don't want to steal from the berry workers either, because food is kind of in short supply. Now, we do have 27 mushrooms, so maybe we borrow from here? Let's temporarily disable that. He's going to now for, go from working here to working over here. But we need them to just get the materials that they need. Go harvest some wood. You are a carpenter, but you are still allowed to cut down trees. Go forth. No. He's not feeling it. <laughs> there is lots that needs doing. Don't even you worry about that. People are still kind of working away. The problem is we may have tried to expand a bit too fast. Possibly. I'm just far too excited, that's all. Far, far too excited. Here he is, look. Gelia is now the herbalist and they are going to be planting some herbs which our doctors are later going to use to keep everyone healthy. Which is very good. If we had a doctor's office, that is. Uh, we've got the wooden planks in there, at least. The wooden planks don't seem to be as much of a problem as these stone slabs, and I feel like that's usually the problem I have. This isn't really any different than normal. It is always stone slabs causing the issues. There is lots for people to be doing. Nobody should be idle. It does say somebody's idle, though. What are you doing? Get back to work. Now, we've got someone who's hungry. Someone who's actually starving, but they should be able to go and get food because we have 19 berries around. Go forth. Go forth and get some food. You are the idle guy. And it's because you don't have any wood and you just seem to refuse to go and gather your own wood. Right. right. I see how it is. Maybe if we prioritized gathering this tree or like the closer things maybe would be helpful. Look, this is your priority. Come gather these pieces of wood. Ah, this person is starving, but it's probably because they were just really far away, I'm hoping. There's, it's a long walk down here. And I, might, I mean, is it insane to build paths? Possibly. But should we build the paths? Possibly. <laughs> uh, let's just see where we could go here. We could just go like across that way. But then maybe also do a kind of more up facing one. I don't know. They're going to build those paths. It's going to be a bit crazy. Ooh, all right. We have finished the horn blower. So I think we will go Anbu Kitchen because Anbu is getting a bit hungry and I'm getting a bit worried. So we're going to build Anbu Kitchen and then we can build the feeding trebuchet. I mean, of course, these need planks and slabs, which have been a bit of a bit of a problem, but that's okay. Anbu Kitchen is good. That means we now have the horn blower that we can build up here. Now, of course, you have to build the horn blower. Some things have certain spots you can build them. We can't expect Anbu to hear a horn that's on his bottom, you know? Or even on his back somewhere. It needs to be nearer to his head. 
So if we put a horn blower up here, he's gonna be able to hear it and we're gonna be able to tell him what to do. Oh, we've encountered a small group of nomads. Now they could be poisoned, it's a bit scary, but we are going to pick them up and just hope that they're all healthy. <gasps> and lucky, okay. Plus three healthy people have joined our village. Fantastic. Our population level is up though, which means our villagers' needs have increased. Oh dear. Okay. They need food quality. So just eating plain berries is no longer going to keep them happy and satisfied. And if they're not happy and satisfied, they're not going to work as hard. So we now need that kitchen is what we need. We need this kitchen to be finished. The sooner we have this kitchen finished, the sooner we can start turning these berries into more interesting food. I believe it's berry muesli. So that is important priority now because we need our people to be happy. So let's stick a priority level on that. People are hungry. They're not going to be very happy with the quality of their food. Ambu doesn't know which path to take, but our horn blower is not going to be made in time. So he's going to have to just choose the path. Now going this way is going to keep us in the desert. So that would be a lot more desert. Not, not necessarily a struggle. The desert is, has some benefits. It doesn't have any toxicity, but it's also very, very difficult to grow crops because you can't get water, which means you have to grow cactus, which is taking up one of your whole farms and things are too hot. So things don't grow as effectively anyways. But if we came down to the mountains, it would be cooler, which would be good because that means crops would grow a lot easier, but also we'd be able to get moisture out of the air so we don't need cactus any longer. Cactus wouldn't even grow because it's too cold for it. But we do risk having toxicity in the air and ground toxicity. Now ground toxicity, if Ambu lies down to sleep where the ground is toxic, he will start to get sick. If the air is toxic, then it starts to affect our villagers. They start to get sick. Ground toxicity also will cause problems on Anbu's back potentially. So, I don't know which path to take Anbu. You're gonna have to decide yourself because this is not quite ready. We need wooden planks and we need the actual wood. And honestly, the kitchen and the doctor are kind of more of my priority at the moment. Oh, it looks like they're ready to build this farm, which is exciting. Hopefully we can get some beets growing and then we'll have a bit more variety of food. Now, hopefully, they will take a while to build this road. They do get distracted by it occasionally. Like, I need to build this corner and I need to build that intersection piece and that piece for some reason and those two pieces. But they build them like quite randomly, but they do get distracted by it. So then instead of actually building something that we might need, they, yeah, they get quite distracted. Oh, we do have, oh, I forgot. We picked up those nomads, which means we do have more workers at the moment. Now this is going to be for beets, but we do need to choose the area where we're going to be growing the beets. I think possibly just over on this side because we do want more berry bushes to grow over there. Plus, as you can see, unless we've got full workers, unless there was like five people working, they don't actually use the entire space anyway. So a lot of this will never get used. So not having this spot, it won't be the worst thing that's ever happened. Now the crops aren't gonna grow at the current temperature. So we might just actually even disable this and take those workers and send them as general workers somewhere else or possibly open this back up. We do have, we did get three. So if we add two to the general workers and one to the mycologist, we are utilizing all of our workers again. Now this is closed, but that, I think that's okay. Cause we, I mean, we're growing cactus at the moment and we've got, oh yeah, I forgot. We got the herbolo herbologist, no, uh, the herbalist growing here. So they're growing some crops and they're in the yellow zone. So they do actually grow. So it's okay, it's not the worst. And once we get some herbs kind of stored up, then our doctor will be able to use them to heal people once we have the doctor. But also once we have the Anbu doctor, we can heal our Anbu. Has he chosen a direction? He has, and of course, of course he's keeping us in the desert. Anbu seems to really want us to just struggle here. My goodness, Anbu. Come on, you went straight before. You could have continued straight and got us into the mountains. Perhaps he saw the hills and he was just like, no, I'd rather stay where it's flat. Now he's coming up to another sleeping spot. He might use it. It's hard to say. He's only at 44%. I was hoping he'd go this way because that's a bit further of a distance and he definitely would have used that one. I don't know if he'll use that one. We'll have to see if he has a little nap there or not. All right. Oh, our kitchen has finished. Okay. If we go into our kitchen, we can make berry muesli. Now, there we go. Okay, so it is berry muesli. We put three berries in. 
and we get five mueslis out. So it is much better food for us. It actually might even be worth stealing one of these guys to stick in there, but I probably, I think, I think I'll steal one of you general workers. Come over here, I might even take two. One from each maybe, so we can get that food going. They're gonna have to go here and collect the berries. There's not a ton of berries for them to be collecting. They'll go over here though and collect those 14 and bring them over. There's nine in here as well, so they can bring those over. But it's gonna be good because if people start eating the muesli, it's worth a lot more. So three berries turn into five meals. So it is definitely worth it. How's our horn blower coming along? Getting the wood over, but not quite the planks yet. Are you guys working on your planks? You actually are, that's fantastic. And look, this is full of stone now. He's gonna be able to build so many of those, which is going to get this going over here. Oh, very good. I am a bit nervous about the whole poison situation. So having the village doctor up and running will make me feel a lot better. Even if currently no village doctor is wandering around because we don't have to keep a person there if we don't need one. If we see someone get poisoned, then we can build a village doctor and we can just, you know, beg, borrow and steal a villager from a different profession. They don't need to be well trained, it's fine. Okay, he's coming across his sleeping spot. Will he choose to lie down? He might do. He's at 50% sleepiness, so I feel like that could be maybe the threshold. He's like, oh, I'm a bit tired. Yeah, 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 have a little nap. But I'm not sure that he will or not, so we'll have to see. Come on, Boo, are you tired? Are you going to lie down? Are you going to have a little nap? Okay, this is a very nice place. Ooh! Anbu Kitchen has now been researched, so we need to choose a new research. But he is going to lie down. Okay, that's good. I mean, the longer he's sleeping, the less likely he can get into trouble, right? He can't get into trouble if he's, if he's sleeping. Well, I guess it depends on where he's sleeping. Right, we're gonna go feeding Trebuchet next in the hopes that we can, in fact, feed on Boo. Now, this is the kitchen. So this is this is where we turn these mushrooms into actual food for on Boo. So the mushrooms are stored in here, I think. I don't think they get stored in here. Do they get stored in here? Okay, the mushrooms get stored in here. So where do we want to put the on Boo kitchen? Might just put it up here. It'll be near the trebuchet then. I think that will be fine. We might even put a storage container up here. So that's the horn blower. That's the kitchen. And then we're researching the feeding trebuchet and we'll put the feeding trebuchet down here. I might put a little material storage over here so that we can store the Anbu food. And it doesn't hurt to have extra storage. All right, Anbu is now sleeping, which means he's not getting into any trouble. There's nothing going on ahead of us. Which I guess is good. I mean, it's one of those like, no news is good news, I guess. Like, could be worse, right? It could be, you know, a giant poison cloud or a thunderstorm or a tornado or something horrifying, but it's not, it's fine. Right, everybody's just kind of working hard. Very happy to see that. He's actually getting some stone sabs built, which is also very good got somebody back there getting more mushrooms. I think we need 20 mushrooms to make a food, but I'm not 100% sure on that. This is not high priority there. Berry gatherers are still at 49% and this one is still at 45, which means no new berry bushes have grown, but it's only been a few days. What are we on? Day 12. So yeah, not much time has passed really. 12 days since we've got on Anbu's back. And I think, do you know what? 12 days and they have built all of this. Those are some very good workers. Well done, villagers. Well done. <laughs> Carry on. You're doing a great job. Right, the hornblower just needs some wood planks now, which is exciting. People are a bit hungry. How's this going? <gasps> They're building. Oh, look, there's already 10 in here, so people don't need to be hungry. They can come here and they can get some lovely muesli. Stop eating our berries plain because this is much better. It's really like, it's magic, isn't it? Taking three berries and turning it into five meals. Like, absolute witchcraft is happening here. <laughs> oh, I love it. Continue to concoct. It's just incredible. A little bit of kitchen witchcraft for you. <laughs> oh, Anbu's already awake. 
That was not a very long nap, but I guess he was only at 50%, so now he's down to zero. So he's going to carry on. Walking in this direction, seeing what we can see. Oof, boy. What well, are we going to find further this way? Who knows what is yet to be discovered? And unfortunately, we are at a video time for today. So we're going to have to wait until next episode to see what Anbu discovers in this northeasterly direction. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more of The Wandering Village. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.